guys that's three thousand four hundred and two dollars and forty cents with less than five minutes of work that is crazy What's going on fam? Eric Ellis here, The Wolf of Marketing, and super excited to break down how to promote ClickBank products for free in five easy steps. Now, if this is your first time coming across my channel, if you like money, go ahead and hit that subscribers button, hit that notifications bell, and join the fam. If you are coming back, welcome back. Now, if you guys want proof that this actually works, check this out. So why should you actually listen to me when it comes to making money online? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Boom, we're behind the laptop. Tuesday, June 25th, 2019 is today's current date. So in one of my main affiliate income streams today, I made $1,997 over the course of the last four weeks. I made $8,986. As a ClickFunnels affiliate within the last 30 days, I made $1,328.27. Uh, with PayPal, I made just over five thousand dollars. So from June sixth to June twenty fourth, thousand, a thousand, two thousand, nine ninety seven fifty. Uh, with an additional income stream, I made seven hundred and forty eight dollars on June sixteenth, ninety eight dollars on May twenty sixth, and as stated before, uh, that's basically June twenty sixth will be the last cutoff date. So total within the last. 30 days, I made $16,208.27. That's more than what a lot, that's more than minimum wage in a whole year, right? So turning an annual income into a monthly income. That's why you should listen to me. So let's carry on. So if you guys notice, I'm making anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 per week. And the way I'm doing it is with this exact method. So let's go ahead and actually dive in. Boom, we're behind the laptop. Now, if you guys look here, basically I have how to promote ClickBank products for free in five easy steps. Now guys, this first step is pretty simple and self-explanatory. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to create an account. Now, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to clickbank.com. For those of you who can't use ClickBank in your country, I apologize. This does work. This same method that I'm talking about works with any affiliate platform, whether you're using JVZoo, whether you're using ClickBank, whether you're using affiliate, whatever, right? Any affiliate product, not just ClickBank, right? So this isn't just for ClickBank. For those of you who are like, oh, you wanna make money, uh, make videos for ClickBank. Listen, I get it, right? This works for any of them. So if you wanna use JVZoo or whatever, this works for any. So now that we got that out of the way, first thing is you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and create an account, right? So once you create an account, it's gonna go ahead and actually load up and then you're gonna go ahead and put in your personal information your banking information, your banking information is so you can get paid. ClickBank has been around for over 10 years, so don't be afraid to put your information in there. It's just so you can get paid. Feel free to put in my information so that way when you get paid a commission, it gets paid to me, right? And last but not least, your account information, you're gonna go to actually create an account. Boom, step one, we're done. Super simple, right? Now, the next step is Pick your niche and identify the problem that you are trying to solve. So the first thing, before we even talk about solving a problem, once you actually create an account and log in, you're gonna be able to go to the affiliate marketplace. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna go ahead and bring up all these different categories. Now, what a niche is, is a category. That's all it is, right? It's a, it's a, a sector in the marketplace. So like health, wealth, romance. So if you look at all these different categories, depending on whether you wanted to start with health and fitness, home and garden, languages, what I would highly recommend for this method that I'm about to teach you guys, it's a long-term method. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're picking something that you are, two things, right? When it comes to a niche, something that you're passionate about, and number two, something that has a demand in the marketplace. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you how to find out if something has a demand in the marketplace in a second, right? So let's actually look at maybe, uh, reverse phone check. So I have no idea what the heck that is. Wall Street Forex, right? If I type in YouTube and I type in Forex, right? Cause I'm looking at these products to see if there's a demand for these products. We have 352,000 views. We have 1 million views. We have 560,000 views. So with that being said, there's a demand. There's people actually searching for this subject. 
So once that we find out there's a demand, right, for the specific niche, uh, the next step, or excuse me, the next step is actually picking one, right? So what are you passionate about? Find something that you're passionate about. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys examples in three different niches. Um, but uh, once you go ahead and pick a uh, pick a niche, right? You wanna go ahead and identify a problem. So the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and actually go to, oh, there you go, sports, right? So I'm gonna do this vertical jump training, right? So basically, what does the actual offer look like? To see what the offer looks like, you're simply gonna go ahead and actually click it, and then you're gonna watch the video, and then you'll have an understanding. This is a sales presentation that is selling this specific product. Now this specific product, it says the number one jump program. So the problem that it's trying to solve is trying to help people jump higher. Now, is there a demand for this in the marketplace? Let's go ahead and actually check YouTube. And let's see, right? If I was trying to solve that problem, what would I type in? How to jump higher. Right? So 3.3 million views, 735,000 views, 6.4 uh, million views for. So guys, this one has a much big, this product has a much bigger demand in the marketplace than the Forex, right? Forex, the maximum uh, video had 1 million views and then 300,000 views. This has multiple videos with millions of views. So obviously it has a bigger problem to be solved. There's more money to be made, right? So that's how you kind of check out the demand. Now. You wanna go ahead and uh, answer these three questions. The what, the why, and the how. So the what is jumping higher, right? I wanna go ahead and actually solve people jumping higher. Why, right? The reason why you wanna help people jump higher is because you may wanna go ahead and help them improve that athletic ability. Now, how are we gonna go ahead and do that? The way that we're gonna do that is simply by selling them our product. But how do we sell the product? We're gonna go ahead and actually break that down later on within the video. So once we actually identify our what, our why, and our how, right? The next thing that we wanna do is step number three. We wanna go ahead and actually build your customer avatar. So depending on what product you're selling, a customer avatar is a fictitious character. It's your ideal customer. So an example, right? Who's the type of people that I'm gonna go ahead and target, right? So instead of targeting everybody, what you're gonna do for this method is you're gonna target this one person and you're gonna attract people like this one person who are gonna start buying your product. So an example, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, if I'm, I am want to teach people how to jump higher, I remember when I cared about jumping higher, I was a 16 year old kid, so you may be anywhere from 16 to 23, so I'm gonna say, uh, let's just say for price, price uh, let's just say 18, right? So I'm gonna uh, name my customer avatar, I'm gonna name him uh, Justin. Justin's an 18 year old kid. He just graduated high school. He plays basketball from time to time on the weekends with his friends at LA Fitness. And he's mad because he's just, he's almost there when it comes to dunking, but he's not there just yet. And all his friends can dunk. So it's like this thing that is, it's like a chip on his shoulder that he wish he could solve, but he just doesn't know how to solve it. So he's searching for the solution. He's looking on YouTube. He's looking on Google. He's looking for answers to his problem. And all he needs is that one simple secret. And once he finds that one secret, he's willing to invest whatever it takes to get there because it's 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 kind of uh, painful for him because it's pride, it's his ego. He's mad, he's, he's known to be athletic or he was known to be athletic, but he can't even dunk around his friends. Everybody else can dunk and he feels left out. So what he wants to do is he wants to work on this craft so that way when the opportunity presents itself, he wants to surprise his friends, dunk, so on and so forth. So he's looking for that solution. That's my customer avatar. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, whenever I'm marketing, right? Whenever I'm marketing, I'm gonna be trying to target Justin. So in my marketing messages, my content creation, so on and so forth, I need to target Justin. But I'm not trying to, anybody who wants to jump higher, no, that specific person, because there's a lot of people who can resonate with that specific thing, right? So for example, me personally, I'm in the Make Money Online niche, I have my customer avatar who has a name, who has an age, who has their pain points, wanting to quit their nine to five, so on and so forth. Chances are, if you're watching this, you fall within my customer avatar for making money online, right? So with that being said, once we built our customer avatar, the next step, right, is step number four. How we're gonna be actually creating this, um, creating this, or not creating this, how we're gonna be um, promoting these products is we're gonna be reverse engineering, right? So. What I, what I want to do is I want to go to ask you a question. 
Whenever you're trying to solve a problem or you're trying to learn information, there's gonna be two places that you're gonna look, right? The first place that you're gonna look is Google, right? The second place that you're gonna look if you wanna learn maybe how to jump higher or you wanna learn a specific skill set is YouTube. Would you agree? Absolutely, right? They're the two largest search engines in the world. Now, if you're not the type of person who doesn't like to write like me, then you're not gonna wanna do Google. Now, you wanna do, if you wanna do Google, you can do this for blogging, which is which I'm about to teach you guys. But I personally like YouTube because I'd rather stand behind the camera, not write, and literally just prepare for a video, teach some content, help somebody solve a problem, and then recommend a product that can serve that person at a higher level. So what does that mean? Basically, what am I going to do? Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys three different examples, right? So I'm gonna do the vertical jump. There goes one product. Then I'm gonna go to, um, what else we do? So we're going to self-help and his secret obsession. So this is basically a product, right? Teaching women how to attract men. That's what this product is, right? So I'm just showing you different products on ClickBank that you guys can promote. And um, if I go to e-business and e-marketing, which is my niche, right? I'm gonna go to, let's just say CB University, right? Now I'm not gonna promote that guys, but I'm just giving you guys an example, right? Now, one thing that I did not cover is when you're finding a product on ClickBank, right? One of the things, there's a couple of things that you want to do, right? How do you know if a, if, a, if a product is worth promoting, right? Number one is the easiest way is don't go by popularity. A lot of people are going to tell you popularity and a lot of people are going to tell you gravity. Believe it or not, guys, is the gravity score means a lot of people are actually getting sales with this. So 82, 88 people have gotten sales with get paid for, uh, from surveys. But... What you wanna do is you wanna actually watch the sales video. Once you watch the sales video, if let's just say you were in that niche, if you feel compelled to buy that product, then it's most likely a good product and it converts. The second thing is you wanna make sure it has the right margin. So for example, Affiliate Bots has $12. I'm not promoting a product that's, that the average sale is $12, guys, that's ridiculous. Now, $73, I have more room for error. $46, I have more room for error, right? So these are the three, right? Um, instead of, I'm not even, I'm just gonna press get paid for service. So I'm not gonna do ClickBank University, right? So with that being said, here's an example of an offer to make money online niche. Here's an example in the, uh, his, uh, the romance niche. And here's an example in somebody who wants to jump higher niche. Now there's other niches, there's golfing, so on and so forth. But what you wanna do, right, is the last, or not the last step, step number four is we're gonna go ahead and actually create a YouTube channel. Now, I'm not gonna go to teach you guys how to create a YouTube channel. There's plenty of videos on YouTube to teach you guys how to create a YouTube channel. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna not only create a, uh, a YouTube channel, but you're gonna go ahead and create a brand, right? Not just a channel, but you're gonna create a brand within that niche. So there's three types of uh, brands that you guys can create. Now, if you guys look at these brands, right, there's personal brand, there's an alias, and there's a company. Now, some people, right, for example, are like myself, and they wanna actually build their personal brand. Now, you wanna watch out. If you are uh, doing a specific niche, but you don't wanna tie that niche to your personal brand, you might wanna do an alias, and let me explain what I mean. For example, let's just say I decided to do weight loss and fitness. Me personally, I don't wanna go ahead and tie Eric Ellis to weight loss or fitness. I would create a weight loss channel, but I personally am like, I wanna build my long-term brand in entrepreneurship. So what is the best option when it comes to building your brand? You need to figure out which route you wanna go. Do you wanna, do you wanna, do you see yourself doing this specific niche long-term? Because the cool thing is, is you can eventually pivot from a ClickBank products to selling your own personal product. So if you build an audience on YouTube and you're promoting ClickBank products around a problem you wanna solve, you can eventually pivot to selling your own products, which is what I do, right? Um, second, another example of an alias is like the wolf of marketing. So if you guys notice, Eric Ellis, the wolf of marketing. I could have just not even put my name there, Eric Ellis, and I could have created my YouTube channel and named my YouTube channel, the wolf of marketing. Another example is uh, standing behind a company. So instead of using your name, you can use a, a brand or even if you don't do, uh, if you don't do, 
how do you say, if you don't do an alias, you could do like, uh, Wolves Academy is, is my company name, right? So here's an example, three different, um, three different, uh, so here's one, right? Sexy Confidence. They're not using their name. Um, we have Make Money Online, so we have Money Online. They're not using their name. Uh, uh, I Love Basketball TV, right? So that's a company, right? That's an, that's an example of creating a YouTube channel around a specific niche. Now, one important thing when it comes to actually creating your brand is you if you are creating a brand and you're not using your personal brand, you wanna make sure that the name that you create your YouTube channel is. Two, two tips that I'd recommend. Number one, make sure that the Instagram is available for it because I like to build a brand on different platforms. Number two, see if the domain name is available and where to get your domain names. I would go to somewhere like namecheap.com. And then you can go ahead and either create a website or a sales funnel or so on and so forth. I'm not gonna go that deep into uh, this video, but just see if, if you go to namecheap.com, see if your actual uh, domain name for the brand name that you want is actually gonna uh, be there. Now, one way to actually think of a brand name, you're probably like, well, I don't know how to think of a brand name, Eric. The first one is whatever, whatever your niche is, using a base. So an example of a, a uh, uh, a base could be money in the make money online niche, right? So money could be my base and then I could start searching different names. Let's just say money tree, money tree TV. I actually like that name, money tree TV. So money tree TV doesn't look like it's available. So it's not available. So then I try another one starting with money or another one starting with romance or another one starting with, and you keep on going until you actually find a brand name, right? Once you find a brand name, buy the domain name. If you do want to go ahead and actually buy the domain name, secure it on Instagram and go ahead and create your YouTube channel name. For example, right, this person has I Love Basketball TV. Now they are dominating under this, this, this keyword, right? But what we're gonna do, right, is a couple of things when it comes to actually building your brand. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, go to one of the best brands out of these ones that I picked, which is Sexy Confidence. Right, but one thing about brands is, for example, you notice my thumbnail is blue. In the future, majority of my my thumbnails on this channel are going to be blue, and the reason why is because that's my brand color. So when it comes to establishing your brand, you want to get a name, you want to get a uh, brand consistency to where you want to have uh, colors. So if you look at this guy's colors, right? If we go to his videos here, most of his videos have like specific colored thumbnails. So whenever he posts a piece of content, people see the brand consistency, you know, they know it's coming from Sexy Confidence, so they wanna go ahead and actually watch his videos, right? Now, how are we gonna go ahead and actually make money with ClickBank, right? That's why, that's why you're here, right? Now guys, basically, what do people do? What is the first thing people do when they try to solve a problem? They search, they search a specific keyword. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and actually create content around these search terms called keywords that people are searching for while they're trying to solve a problem. So for example, if I'm trying to, right, if I go to, let me go back to the, the product. So let's go to sports. If I go to sports and I go to vertical jump and with vert, vertical shop, if I, before I bought this product, right, what type of content would I probably be searching for? I'd probably be searching for how to jump higher, right? So the keyword that I'm gonna be trying to create content around is going to be how to jump higher, right? So people are gonna be searching how to jump higher in only five minutes. And then all these pieces of content are gonna show up. If I'm trying to create content around attracting men, if I'm a woman who's trying to attract men, I might say how to attract men. And then all these pieces of content are gonna come up. Uh, another one is if I'm trying to figure out how to make money online, I'm gonna type in how to make money online. If I'm trying to uh, lose weight, I'm gonna type in how to lose weight. Now, what you're gonna do is instead of being on the consumer side, typing in that and then finding a specific video, what's gonna happen is you're gonna go ahead and um, be on the opposite side. So you're gonna create the content around that specific key, that specific keyword. Now, let's go ahead and actually go to, let me see here. Um, let's go to step number five, right? The next step, guys, after you've established your brand, you've created your YouTube channel, you haven't created a single uh, YouTube video yet, the next thing is we're gonna go ahead and actually uh, start creating content. So we know what type of keywords, right? Depending on your niche, we know what type of keywords we're gonna start creating content around. 
But what you wanna do is you wanna generate ideas from other successful influencers within your space. So depending on whatever your niche is, whatever your product is you're trying to promote, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out and type in how to jump higher. And then literally look at somebody who is trying to, uh, or who is in that niche. So for example, I Love Basketball shows up multiple times. So that's an influencer who creates content around a specific keyword all the time. So if I go to videos, I'm going to go to sort by, and I'm gonna to go to most popular. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to mimic what is already successful. So an example is how to instantly jump higher, uh, how to Kyrie Irving's best crossover, best one-on-one -on -one basketball moves. So if I'm specifically uh, in the niche just for the jump higher product, first and foremost, the content that you're creating, you wanna make sure that it's congruent with the offer you are selling. That is one of the number one things. Congruence is everything. I wanna, I wanna beat that in your head. Make sure the content you are creating is congruent with the product you're selling. Meaning, I'm not going, even though this is a popular video on this channel, I'm not going to uh, teach a crossover move if I'm trying to promote a product that teaches you how to jump higher. So I'm simply gonna look at his content and see which ones have jumping higher, and then I'm gonna actually watch the content, look at this, the, the actual um, titles, I'm gonna look at the thumbnails, see what they did for that content to be successful, and then I'm going to use that, reverse engineer it, and recreate that type of content and try to teach it better, right? Try to teach it better, so that way I can go ahead and create content, rank the content. Now, with that being said, how do we actually, like what is the magical pitch? How do we actually, uh, where does the, the clickbank come into play, right? I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys my perfect pitch. Now guys, whether you guys know this or not, I use this pitch that I am about to teach you guys in this video right here, right? So the first thing is the hook. Now if you guys notice, in the beginning of this video, I captured your attention with the hook, right? It was some sort of uh, me talking about some sort of money or income claim or something along those lines. Next is, right, after my, my introduction, I showed you social proof. I showed you guys proof that what I was about to teach you can actually help you guys solve your problem because I showed you guys the money that I've actually made from it, right? So if you're doing uh, uh, how to jump higher or how to attract the opposite sex or how to lose weight, whatever it is, show people proof that what you're about to be teaching is gonna go ahead and actually help them. Now guys, you don't have to show people proof that you're doing it, right? If I'm doing weight loss, I don't have to show people proof of me losing weight because I'm skinny as a freaking toothpick. But I can go ahead and show uh, results of people who use the product that I'm selling so I could insert like a little mini testimony or something along those lines. So let's say I am Eric, right? And I'm uh, doing a weight, I I'm decided to do the weight loss niche. I could start with the hook. Once I start with the hook, the next step could be saying, now if you guys want proof that what I'm about to show you is actually gonna go to work, check out Sherry and her results. She lost 30 pounds in 30 days. Boom, quick little testimonial. And then I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the what, right? Now, if you guys notice, I talked about the what earlier within this video. I said, um, the what is uh, how, to promote, how to promote ClickBank products for free in five easy steps. That's my what. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. Same thing with your content. You teach people the what. I'm gonna go and teach you how to lose weight in three easy steps or whatever, right? Let's go back to I love te uh, basketball. So I'm gonna teach you how to instantly jump higher and increase your vertical in five minutes, right? That's your what. You're basically explaining what they're, uh, what content they're about to get access to. And then last but not least is the how. So you teach them how to do it. So for example, my how within this video is YouTube video marketing. Guys, I've made a multiple six figure income doing YouTube so I can teach you guys how to do that, right? So that's basically what I'm teaching you guys how to do. I'm showing you guys the perfect pitch. You can show people how to jump high, you can show people how to, whatever your, whatever product you're selling, you're teaching people content that is gonna go ahead and help them, right? And then the product that you're selling should serve them at a higher level. The product that you're selling should help them get results quicker, faster, and easier. So at the end of your video, you're gonna go ahead and have a call to action and that call to action is basically gonna be a ClickBank product. So what you're gonna do, for example, if I go to, um, one of his videos, right? If I go to, let me go back. Now guys, this is not a ClickBank product, but I have done research on other influencers, so I know for a fact they are promoting products. If I go to his page, right? If I go to uh, I Love Basketball, 
what they're doing is they have an offer, right? So get your free instant guide. This is called a lead magnet. So what they're doing is they're gonna go ahead and actually get my email, right? I, if I was their target audience, I'll go ahead and send me the workout. Once I send me the workout, I'm gonna get on their email list and then they're gonna start hitting me with email marketing and different offers. Now, if I go to ilovebasketball.com, right, and I go to products, and I go to uh, Pro Vertical, continue reading, right? Look at this, Secrets to Jumping High Rebuild, brand new pro whatever the freak, right? So this is basically a product teaching people how to jump higher. Now what he should have, which would be more congruent, but he might want to be building an email list, what he should have is he should literally just have this direct link in that, in that, uh, in the, in his description. So guys, imagine, three, or excuse me, 738,000 people requesting information on how to jump higher. Now, don't you think if they just requested information on how to jump higher and then they watched it, he gave them value and then he redirects them to a link of a course? Guys, this is a, I don't remember how long it was, but it was like a five or 10 minute video. Guys, there's only so much you can teach in five to 10 minutes. So with that being said, if he, if they really want to go to the next level, the next step is clicking that link. They'll get access to the uh, affiliate offer. Once they get access to the affiliate offer, um, they'll buy your product and then you'll be able to serve them at a higher level by teaching them step by step with the product that you're selling them. So you're giving them way more value. They're going to be willing to pay that amount, right? So what's going to happen, for example, let's just say I had this YouTube channel right here and instead of having my own product, I use the vertical jumping, right? What I would do is I'll go to press promote, right? You put your 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 nickname, you're gonna generate a hop link. So I, I earn 75% commissions. So I can earn up to $40.84 per sell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and generate my affiliate link. And whenever I start driving traffic, whenever somebody makes a purchase, I'm gonna go ahead and get paid on average $40. So Guys, what you can do is you can go to, as I said before, you can get, uh, you can go to namecheap.com, start creating a brand. If you really want to create a brand, go ahead and actually buy a domain name, guys, $9. Now, because this is a free uh, method video, I am going to go to teach you guys how to use a free method. You guys can literally use Bitly or, uh, or any other link shortener. You create a link, and then I go ahead to paste the long link right here, which is the, the jump higher stuff, and then I put... Um, jump higher, jump higher, or something along those lines, jump higher faster. <laughs> so I press create, boom, I have my new little link here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create content that's gonna help people solve this specific problem. So let's just say I mimicked this specific video, right? I mimicked this video, and then I put my link that I just created with Bitly for free in my description. Now guys, this is slow and steady wins the race. This isn't get rich quick. This is five easy steps, but at the end of the day, you have to be willing to build a long-term sustainable income. Guys, this is maybe multiple six figures, what I'm teaching you guys. So with that being said, you have to be willing to produce content consistently. Now, how often should you post, you're probably asking. Whatever you can consistently commit to. So whether that's one per week, whether that's three times per week, whether that's once every two weeks, just make sure it is consistent because that's what YouTube likes. Post consistently and, and don't just create whatever you guys want. Make sure you're creating content around these keywords and instead of reinventing the, the wheel, just do what already works. See what people are already doing within that niche. Create a brand and start creating content that's helping people solve that specific problem and then you're gonna be able to sell these affiliate products. Now the cool thing is that eventually you'll be able to transition into selling your own products and instead of getting paid a percentage of the sale, you're gonna go ahead and get paid 100%. That's the cool thing about affiliate marketing, right? It's kind of like it allows you to, it's a journey, it's a stepping stone. Now, let's just do some quick math here. 40, let's just say this product is $40, right? $40.84. And um, three tips to jump higher today, right? So 730,000 people. Let's just say 40, $40.84, $40.84, so let me actually, so 738,000 people watched the video times three, 
or times 0.001. So guys, let's just say 1%, let's just say 1%, no, let me even do this. Let's just say 1% of 1% decided to actually buy this product, right? Who watched that video? 73 people, 1% of 1%, $48. Guys, that's $3,402. Dollars and 40 cents with less than five minutes of work. That is crazy. Now guys, I wanna go ahead and actually show you guys a quick little trick, right? You see what I just did there, right? I said $3,542.40 in five minutes worth of work. Now this is true, I just broke down the map, but the, 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 the tricky thing that I wanna go ahead and show you guys is I knew I set that up on purpose. You guys are gonna remember the beginning of my video, right? The beginning of this video, that was my hook. So that statement that I literally just said, $3,542.40 with five minutes worth of work, I'm literally gonna use that as my hook. That's the thing that captured your attention for you to get this far. Are you guys following me? You seeing how I did that there, right? Now guys, I've, I've been doing this for a while. So guys, it's, it's that simple, right? Try to, try to think of your hook ahead of time. I knew I was gonna do that before I actually shot this video. So I did the hook, captured your attention, social proof, Social proof is there. I showed you guys proof that this actually works. The what was how to promote clickbait products in five easy steps. The how, I showed you guys the step-by-step -step how, create a brand, create a YouTube channel, uh, uh, make sure your, your products are actually, or excuse me, your content's congruent with your products. And the last but not least, guys, you need to have a call to action at the end of every video, which is basically telling people to grab access to the links down below, which will help them serve, which will help, you'll help them serve, you'll help serve them at a higher level once they decide to actually invest into your product, which is your clickbank product where you'll get paid commissions. So with that being said, here's my call to action, right? Right now, I currently reopened up my inner circle, right? Guys, this is just free methods. If you guys wanna take your business to the next level, you guys actually do have money to invest into yourself. You're tired of working a nine to five, you're tired of working a job, guys, there's two ways you can go about this. You can continue to look on YouTube and try to figure out this by yourself, or you can go ahead and get step-by-step -step help by somebody who's already successfully done this. Now guys, I've done multiple six figures online. I'm a six figure marketer. I'm in my twenties. I'm currently in my condo here in Medellin, Colombia. Last year I traveled 12 countries in 12 months, right? I'm the real freaking deal. I can teach you guys how to escape corporate slavery. Now, if you guys want methods that are gonna go ahead and help you guys get results much quicker, uh, YouTube's kind of slow and steady wins the race. I can teach you guys methods that can allow you to generate thousand dollar commissions as soon as this week. If you want more information on that, there is going to be an application down below. You click the link, it's gonna allow you to apply. I'm not taking on everybody because I'm limited to the time that I have. And if I decide to bring you on board, I will mentor you personally and help you go from zero to hero, dead broke to six figures. If that makes sense to you, click the link down below right now. Now guys, that is my call to action. YouTube content, I created content that was congruent with what I'm selling, right? Which is my mentorship on affiliate marketing. So with that being said, this is going to be that thing that's going to allow me to serve you at a higher level. Now guys, I understand that not everybody's gonna buy it. Guys, I don't want everybody to buy it. I don't want everybody to actually invest. I'm hand selecting a select few people. Right, so you see how that works there. Literally, this whole YouTube video is a step-by-step -step process, exactly what I just taught you. Now, instead of promoting ClickBank products, I'm promoting my own products within my specific niche. But I just wanna show you guys that. You guys can eventually pivot from ClickBank, right, how I started, to selling your own products. So, with that being said, if you guys want my one-on-one -on -one mentorship and you guys want somebody who can actually show you guys the real deal stuff and help you get real deal results, click link down below, fill out the application, and me or one of my team members will be in contact with you shortly. With that being said, if you guys wanna know other Make Money Online uh, methods, there's gonna be a video right here. And I appreciate you guys so freaking much. Your boy, Eric Ellis Jr. As always, I will see you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and join the freaking band. See you on the next video.